Well, here it is, our first 2015 Chrysler Town & Country on the lot. Now, this is the Touring L in cashmere. And uh, these vehicles have a ton of features to go over. So, let me just uh, let you look at the outside real fast. It does have the awesome looking aluminum wheels there. Really classy looking van. It's got the privacy glass in the back. Let's take a look at the front. Has the nice um, projector fog lights. Not projector headlights, but the little fog lights down there at the bottom are, are projector style. It's got the luggage racks on top. Now one of the cool features about the, uh, the town and country is that um, when it's all locked up, you can use the remote start. I mean, you see all these little buttons here. Start it with the remote start. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up. All right, now that it started, I don't have to start it, but I could have you know, done it without it. But I'm going to go ahead and open up the, the doors. So I'm going to start with open up that door. And open up the other door. Like so. I can open up the trunk or the hatch. So really, without even touching the vehicle, just walking towards the vehicle, I can start it, I can have the doors open, and everybody can pile in. And, uh, or just, you know, accessing the, the back here just to put your groceries or whatever, um, which is really convenient. And you can see here, it's got the grocery bag hooks right here on the back of the seats. The seats do fold down. They are stow-and-go seats. They stowed down in this section here. And uh, you can see what the third row looks like. We've got the cup holders and storage there. Pretty good amount of leg room. Nice high quality seats. But as far as putting the seats down, it's a it's it's number coded. We'll pull that one strap. Number two is here. That flops down. Number three unlatches the front. Number four picks up the make sure it's that snapped in place now I can push that like that so now I've got a flat surface there now that the second row does the same thing which I'll show you on the in the front and it goes folds completely flat so you can put all the seats down in the floor and have a completely flat surface without actually having to pick unhook the seats and lug them out of the vehicle and try to play find a place for them or whatever you do have a rechargeable flashlight right here you got a storage pocket there and um, pretty cool amount of features in the back you got the sun shades for the third row passengers as well as the second row they pull up and you got a, a like a DVD system and stuff like that. I'll show you that in a second. But anyway, uh, so as far as lowering the hat, the, the 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 hatch here, you know, you can use the key or you can use this button. Now it'll beep at you a couple times, let you know to get out of the way, and it'll come right on down. Now back here, I'm noticing it does have the backup camera. There's the lens there. It does have the backup parking sensors. You see the little round circles there. There's the window sticker, which you cannot see because there's a massive glare. But um, I'll have the, I'll copy and paste all this information in the description, so you can read all that stuff. But here's the the second row bucket seats, and in order to stow those away, first you have to move this mat somewhere, somewhere out of the way, which that's not quite out of the way yet throw it over there and this is also a really good storage compartment when you're not stowing your seats away this folds up like that 
this folds up like that there's your headphones for your DVD player so let me move those out of the way as well but you see this nice big storage space I mean it's pretty good size and uh, so you can store stuff in there even with all your passengers same thing with behind the seats back there you've got that storage space and passenger space so in order to stow the seat down you see you got that big empty space and you got the seat up here but it's real easy Let's see if I can do this with you be able to see it you just lift this up I'm just gonna do it with one finger one finger now it's at that position there so now I can just push it down it's easier to push than it is to pull um, so, so that's why they have it like that you can just push it down like so now that it's in there you just flop this back down and that and that like so now you've got a flat surface just like you did back there so you can see where once you store all the seats down you've got a completely flat surface back here that you can load it jam full of stuff if you need to and you can have a combination of storage and passenger space so you can have that one seat there and the rest of it storage or you know whatever whatever you need you got some really cool inputs back here HDMI US, uh, USB ports a uh, 110 power supply you got a 12 volt power supply auxiliary all kinds of cool stuff there um, taking the seat out not that hard move that up like that just like before you have to grab it now it is assisted it's not like you're, you're lifting up the whole weight of the of the seat when you grab this so I'm just kind of I can do it one finger it's not much because it's assisted it lifts kind of lifts up right there so now I do have to push that way like I said pushing is easier than pulling and they know that so I push that up and then I push that up so now all I gotta do is put that down pop that down and now you got your seat back in this place not a whole lot of effort there I could do it one hand one handed sometimes one finger and holding the camera at the same time so pretty cool one thing I didn't show you is that I had to put the seat all the way forward in order to accomplish all that this seat does have to be in the forward position or it will not work I'm gonna go ahead and shut this door by pushing a button in there now here's the inside of the driver's door you've got your pockets there at the bottom as well as there as well as there you've got this side mirror control here and it may not do it because I have to push the button since I use remote start I have to push this button right here to turn everything on but now that it's on I um, all I got to do is use this and I can open up these side glass it's on both sides I don't know if you can see that see these vents will open up in the back so you can get a good airflow through the vehicle when you're not using your climate control so I can close that now I gotta put the seat back It's gonna take forever because it is a power seat. While we're waiting for that, I'll show you the automatic headlights. But, uh, but anyway, it's got it's got lumbar support and this power seat. I'm gonna go ahead and hop in. Now you notice that door still open over there. I can close it. We're pushing this button. So there's your buttons for your side doors as well as your tailgate and you can, can turn them all off so if you don't want anybody in the back opening up doors you just turn them off right there all right so here's your steering wheel that is a leather wrap steering wheel it's kind of like a brown color this one it's like a brown and tan theme going on in here but uh, on the right side you've got your cruise control on the back you've got your volume on the left side you can scroll through your channels on your radio on the back of the steering wheel 
but I'm gonna go ahead and turn that down now on this side you've got your Bluetooth phone uh, once you've got a phone paired you can answer calls or make calls right here the voice recognition button is right here that's for talking to your car and telling it what to do and the buttons here correspond with this little menu system so right now I can scroll up and down go into fuel economy I can get back out of that go into vehicle speed gives me a digital speedometer I can go back out of that I can go down to hey and go into tire pressure see what the tire pressure is on each tire vehicle info I can get some detailed information there go back out of that so it has a lot of pretty cool system here for getting a lot of information um, the default is kind of vehicle speed so you can get a digital speedometer there nice classy gauges it does have like a blue backlit I don't know if you can see that in the video, but it does have a little bit of a blue backlight. There's your push button. That's for starting it. Now, if I didn't use the remote start, all I'd have to do is get in the vehicle with the key in my pocket the whole time. Put my foot on the brake, push the button, starts up. So, here's your shifter. Now, the shifter, it's up there because it's keep it out of the way. If it's down here, it gets in the way. Up here, you know, once you're in gear, this is completely out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and put it in reverse so you can get an idea of what you can, see, you can see what the backup camera looks like. And also, the park assist is on us, let me know there. And that little car looks like a video game car from the 80s, doesn't it? I forget the name of that car game, but that's what it reminds me of. And uh, when I put it down on drive, um, I can. It's normal drive there, but I can actually change the gears by bumping it to the right and left. See, I'm changing through the gears now. We're not even moving. But I can hold it to the right, puts it back to drive. All right, so here's your uh, your touchscreen computer system, I guess you can say. It does have navigation, and um, I'll go ahead and show you that. You can view the map, like so. Um, you can go back, you can enter in an address or a home address, stuff like that. And, um, but let's see here, let's go to radio. You see it has satellite radio, AM, FM, uh, media. This is where you're, you would have music on your hard drive or a disc, auxiliary input, stuff like that. Now, your disc is back here. It does play uh, CDs as well as DVD ROMs. and um, your time is there and uh, actually it uses a satellite to adjust the time so you'll never have to adjust the time yourself unless you want to and it has that option there so um, here's your hard drive it has a 40 gig hard drive you can add files to it with the CD you can also use the USB port right here or and the auxiliary input is basically a real time playing off of a device like an iPod or something like that or a phone all right so let's exit out of there now we're back into the uh, that so but anyway there's the main features there of the radio there's your Chrysler clock and here is your climate control settings now it does have heated seats as well as heated steering wheel and there's your controls there for that your temperature you can change it get exactly what you want right now it's synced I can turn the sink off and you can have a dual zone and uh, your rear is locked out on the back so they can't adjust it you can adjust it up here but you can turn that off and then that way, that way they can adjust it in the back eco eco mode is for uh, you save your gas um, it's a little, little bit of science behind it and technology but basically when that's on it helps save you gas your power your power out, outlet that's in the back that's how you turn it on if that's not on then it's not gonna work traction control you can turn that off here if you want to spin tires and do donuts there's your uh, four-way flashers there you got a pocket there storage container here as well as two power outlets and you've got some storage in there as well like a little bridge I guess you can say with nets on either side to keep stuff from rolling out 
uh, that wouldn't be good to have stuff rolling out and going underneath the brake pedal and stuff. There's your cup holders. There's another storage comp compartment here. You've got some cup holders here too and there's a little drawer that slides out. Glove compartment there. As well as down here. And now it does have an auto dim rear view mirror. Right here is you got little tap lights and they do, ain't you can aim them like that. Here's your place to put your sunglasses. And also when you lift it up and drop it like that, you've got a conversation mirror that you can keep an eye on everybody in the back. And there's your door and door controls there. Garage door controls are here. It does have the uh, light with a mirror. Same thing on the other side. I'm going to show you the DVD system in a second. Just to give you an idea of what it looks like back there. Alright. Now. And get back in here and shut the door. Just want to show you the DVD system, and you've got the uh, controls are up here for your climate control. Now it's just showing you what what's playing the the uh, the radio station. Nothing's going to happen there. Now it does have a remote control and a. Uh, and headphones in this box which I didn't have them prepared to show you but um, you do have the heated seats back here there's a control for that these windows do roll up and down to there that's as low as I'll go you also have a sun shade in each door it goes up and clips there really comfortable travel vehicle when you have a family or if you have a lot of people you have to play, place to put sunglasses back here. Has a bunch of these. As you can see, it's got basically a little, just like a compartment. I guess you can put sunglasses or anything you want in them. Overhead compartments for small stuff. Open a door, just push that button. Let's look underneath the hood. this where's it at oh they changed it on me it's on the left side okay so here's the the battery and a 3.6 liter VVT Pentastar V6 Everything's color coded, everything in yellow would be stuff that you would pay attention to yourself. And they cover it up with plastic. That's a seems to be a trend, let's cover up the engine. Alright, there you have it. Um, probably, you know, I might have missed some stuff because this vehicle does have a lot of features. But if you have any questions, let me know. My name is Mike. My phone number and email address will be in the description. See you next time.